In this episode, I'm lighting up the Lego Boutique Hotel. Welcome my fellow Lego fans to another edition of Old Brick Town. The good folks at LightTailing.com sent me a complimentary light kit of my choosing to review. I've seen quite a few lighted cities and so I'm a bit intrigued but also overwhelmed. Lighting Lego buildings seems a bit too technical but this product is well packed and labeled. Just what I need to ease myself into this new venture. I'm also a little skeptical as well. Watching my channel, you'll know that I'm, for the most part, a Lego purist. There is very little that enters Old Bricktown that isn't pure Lego, and that includes light kits from unofficial sources. So, this is my first. But to be fair, I think Lego dropped the ball on this one. I would have lit up Old Bricktown long ago if there were official lighting kits. That's why when LightTailing.com sent me an email offering a free kit, I decided to take the opportunity and share my thoughts and experience with you. This kit retails for $69.99, and the website offers a multitude of kits to choose from. Check it out, free sticker. This is the main instruction booklet. As you will see, it is very clear and easy to understand. Since this is my first light kit, I read through the instructions first before I'm packing and delving right in. After I checked to see if all the lights worked, I began. It all begins with the main light post. Beforehand, I did extend the walkway since I did not include the original light post when I added the hotel to the canal. The first part of the kit is the most intrusive and the most difficult of the steps, but overall it was a breeze. These clever stick-on connectors continues the flow of energy from one floor to the next. Once the base is complete, the other floors are quite simple. Here is the last bit. You can see the special bricks that rest upon the connectors as well as the LED light bricks that clip to the ceiling. Overall, I'm pleased with the ease it took to install. Being new to the task, I took my time, but in the end, it took a little less than 40 minutes to finish the job. I'm sure if I was familiar with the process, it would have taken under 30. Come on, let's light this thing up. Okay, now for the hard sell. While the result is fantastic, you can see where the kit is a bit intrusive, both aesthetically and structurally. The company does a good job making the wiring invisible where possible, and as a display, it's a sound option as lighting goes. As for me, while the floors are still easily removed, I do believe the play factor is a bit diminished. Will I buy a lighting kit in the future? I believe so. Perhaps when the kids are grown or for sets I have on display. And as for LightTailing.com, it was a solid kit, well packaged, and a great product. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I also want to let you know that LightTailing.com has a special coupon code for my subscribers. So if you're like me and curious, or if you're an old pro but haven't given LightTailing.com a go, here's your chance. It's all in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, watch a few of my others. But more importantly, happy building.